celebrity. In the next two minutes, I'm going to teach you how to find the ceiling of a number. So let's get started. What is the ceiling function? It finds the smallest integer greater than or equal to a number. And now if you've watched our floor function calculator, it works the same in that video, but we're rounding up instead of down. So the ceiling of a number x is denoted as, and here's the notation, here's the ceiling rules, and it's a two-part setup. First, if the number is an integer, the ceiling of the number equals the number itself. If the number is not an integer, so it's a decimal, the ceiling equals the integer of x plus 1. Or, as we stated in the first point, the smallest integer greater than the number. So let's walk through a few examples. We want to find the ceiling of 35.231. Let's walk through our two-part ceiling rules. Is the number an integer? No, it's not. It's got a decimal piece. So we move to part two. If the number is not an integer, the ceiling equals the integer of x plus 1. Well, the integer of x is 35. Add 1 is 36. So the ceiling of 35.231 is 36. Thinking about this the different way, the smallest integer greater than 35.231 is 36. You can walk through the ceiling function either way, whatever feels more comfortable. Let's walk through another example. I want to find the ceiling of 39. Let's walk through our ceiling rule two-part check. Is the number an integer? Well, in this case, yes it is. 39 is an integer. So the ceiling equals 39. There's no change. Now, what if you have future ceiling calculator problems and the numbers don't match up to the numbers in this presentation? Well, fear not, my friends. I've got you covered. We have a ceiling calculator for you. So I'm going to put a link to this calculator. This is our main calculator in the YouTube description. Here is how you ask for your problem. Ceiling, and then you just type your number. So let me walk through that right now. We're going to do, we'll just make up a number. Ceiling of 14.56789. And you hit return. And this calculator will run the steps that we ran in the presentation. And it, see, and it says, okay, this number is not an integer, so we're going to take the integer of the number, add 1, and we get our ceiling, which is 15. Now the cool part about this is, if you use Excel or Google Sheets, it also walks you through how to find the ceiling in Excel or Google Sheets. So that is it for this calculator. You just type ceiling, followed by the number, and the calculator will take you through the step-by-steps for the rest. I want to thank you for spending time with me today, and I'll see you in the next video.